Well, guys, it looks like we're ready to hop into game number one. Sam a time. couple of times, <laughs> you know? Well, Kog'Ma... Sandbox say, it's okay, Denti, you can have the Ocean Creek. We, uh, we don't care. Although, Joker do is getting in range oh. here. Aquaflake's getting in there, is gonna steal it, but he's gotta use his flash after baiting Joker to heroic entrance in this one. Now they're oh. considering going back in there. Peanut kind of just standing they there might and be taking one. And they're going to get on top of life here. The taunt does come in. Lens having to be used here by life. Nice amount of damage there. And a ruler first blood finally comes in at 16 minutes. And they're trying to go in here, but the clone is able to uh, block a bunch of that damage on the backside, so we'll just be the now, one kill yeah, and the push. Rift Herald is going to be summoned here in mid lane. That's definitely going to be the mid tier one turret going down at the very least. Will Shelly end up getting two charges here? Fly coming in, trying to offer a little bit of damage. Does a single sandbox. As it looks like we're potentially brewing for another team fight. Genji have to be careful after that last one. That's gonna be a double knockup already, getting that Galio on in there. That's that combination. I feel like they would have uh, hard auto lock these champions even faster than they did. As the flash comes in, Devour is there. Life is going to flash away. Also does have the cleanse. Peanut though in a bit of trouble. Has to be healed and Roach coming in. Just has to ult himself as he's got a Kha'Zix on his back. On Fleet going 1v2 right now as he does have the Galio for the follow-up. Make that three kills as Sandbox are going to totally decimate Gen G oh, in that why? team fight. Looking for Ghost here, but that's not going to pay off for you. A shoot to go for Kha'Zix and uh, so far the assassinations have been good. Yep. Summit now pushing in the bottom lane. Roach, level 15, not quite 16, but honestly, it's just not going to matter anymore. Yeah, I mean, they're they're so far behind at this point, and everything is just falling so fast on the side here of Gen Z. They're going to push double inhibitors immediately. They still have two minutes on Baron. Yeah. That happened in the span of a minute. They went back, bought, and immediately just pushed it down. Especially after getting that pick on a ruler, there wasn't much that Gen Z could do to stop it. Honestly, coming over now, and he wants to eat the last Ocean Dragon, which I find so surprising, and I'll talk about why in a second. But first, we're going to talk about Anfli Kha'Zix coming over and picking uh, yeah, up. Hold on. Ruler is level 13. That's a nice amount of damage. Okay, here she comes. <laughs> right, we're on point right. with that. Let's see. We Everybody eyes on Roach. Hear the music. Uh, <laughs> doing less than Kog'Maw. <laughs> hey, she, she was able to kill Julia there. That's true. Got some Baron minions. She's having a little bit of trouble with those. Um, yeah, Sandbox are just like, yeah, we're not really going to fight against you. Um, we're just going to move over to the right side. We got the Super Minions now. We're really going to push in, and no oh. boy. Now uh, now Roach doesn't have any health. Uh, she's going to get hit by that Battle Star. That's more of a Zoe thing than a Gale thing at this point in his life. He's going to lose it once again as he all does come in to save Ruler's life, but he doesn't have the Cogmaw, or rather the Tom Kench. And pick after pick. Just coming on in, they're desperately trying to hold on to their base fly. Can't even kill on Fleek in the back line. And there's nothing he can do as he's going to go down. Kale desperately trying to hold on to this one, but it's not going to matter. Level 16 or not, GG comes through in about 28 minutes.